Okay, so we are with uh, Paolo Furtado from Regun in uh, Linea d'Agua in Lisbon. And uh, okay, now I want to start with just uh, which, the, the name of your band. What, uh, what does Regun mean? Uh, the gun comes uh, from, from Peter Gunn, uh, the song from Manuel Mancini. And Ray comes from uh, the name of Link Ray, an American guitar player from the 50s that uh, is um, most known for inventing the power chords and the distortion in the guitar. And uh, for me, Henry Mancini was a very special uh, composer too. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, a way to define, we have really loud guitars but, and, and we do rock and roll and, and blues and, and soul gospel and we try to mix it in, in a, a, arrange it in a different way than, than most rock and roll bands so, so that's the Mancini influence I guess so it's a way of, 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 of defining the band mm -hmm. and uh, when did, the, did you start as a band? Uh, which has been your, your history so far? Uh, we started in 99 with an EP called Amateur then we had an album that was, the first album was released in 2001 just in Portugal and then uh, the second album called Ecclesiastes 111 was released in several countries around Europe and it had, it had a, a huge uh, success in France I think mostly because of the mix of punk rock, rock and roll and gospel which was I think at the time I didn't realize that but I think at the time it was not really uh, I don't think there was anyone doing it and uh, and now we've been releasing albums albums we are on the fourth album called Last Put which is gonna be released in Europe by the end of the year uh, at the moment it's released in Portugal and we've been uh, touring a bit we played in Italy in a, in a festival near Rome uh, in Palestrina it was the same festival that unfortunately uh, uh, there was uh, the death of uh, Mark from, from the morphine it was where, where he actually died but uh, yeah we've been playing uh, a little bit all throughout Europe uh, during this year and uh, which are the artists that mo most influence your music? Uh, I don't know, mostly, mostly everything influences us, I guess. Uh, we like, uh, I, think, I think mostly we play rock and roll and blues and with the influences of punk, but, but we are a lot of people in the band and, and we listen to pretty different stuff since tango to African music to to hip hop and, and that influences a lot uh, everything we do so so we we try to mix all these influences in the in in, uh, in a rock and roll band I guess and how do you compose your uh, songs which is the process how do you approach it um, I mostly uh, I'm, I'm uh, most of the times I write uh, the, the lyrics and the song immediately uh, together. Uh, sometimes I have lyrics that go from song to song until they find the perfect uh, uh, song for them. And uh, yeah, but normally I, 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 I just compose with the guitar and, uh, and, and I get the lyrics and the music all together at the same time. Uh, as far as I could uh, listen, uh, the, the, the first uh, songs or albums were more rock and roll, and, but in the, the, this last one, uh, maybe there are some more pop influences. Is it correct? I don't no? think so. Don't think so. <laughs> no. At least the, the song uh, Do You Wanna Dance, Dance sounds uh, very pop. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I, I think for, for me it sounds very doo-wop. Uh, it has a doo-wop feeling on it that was one of the biggest influences that, that, that we had on this album that, that we didn't have before. Uh, I think there are two things that, that, that are important characteristics in the Reagan sound, which is the very aggressive guitars normally, 
and, uh, and, and then the harmonies in the voices. And for this album, actually I think it's a very classical song, Don't You Wanna Dance? For me, I, I, I love a lot of the old doo-wop from the 40s, 50s and 60s. And, 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 and it's kind of... Uh, that one came, came pretty classical, I guess, uh, in a way. And that's and that's probably why why it, it may it may sound more commercial or more recognizable as a drum. But um, but the doo wop is a big influence in this album. It's something that 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 we never did before. And in that song is is the most classical way to use it. In the others, I think we 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 use it a lot in the keyboards and, uh, and in the vocals, but in a, a more a more uh, unusual way, I guess. So. And uh, what do you think about the musical scene in Lisbon? Uh, we, we, as, as far we could understand, it's really quite interesting and uh, rich. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of stuff that's happening in in Lisbon that could could never happen anywhere else because of the of our geography too because we are between Europe and Africa and the Americas and uh, and because um, we are uh, as Portuguese we are really influenced by by, by by a lot of music from from all around the world and uh, I think the last 10 years have, have been amazing not only in Lisbon but but in all of Portugal but but I think Lisbon is is, is a very important center for 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 all kinds of modern popular music from 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 hip hop to more experimental uh, stuff uh, punk rock all we got I, I, I don't know a lot a lot of project projects that are really interesting <coughs> you are based in Lisbon because I, I, I yes. read that you are from Coimbra the, the, yes. the originally but yeah, you are originally from Coimbra but I'm, I've been living almost five years now in Lisbon and uh, the fact of being Portuguese does somehow affect your music or it's just I, I don't know since, uh, since since I was young my influences were mostly American and uh, and garage and blues and rock and roll and in, in, in fact I think I think the metrics uh, in Portuguese to the rock and roll and blues are not are not that that uh, that perfect for, or useful for, for for blues and rock and roll and um, and, and, and yeah, in a way, I consider myself more than Portuguese Euro, Euro, European because what I'm doing could not be done in, in the USA. For instance, the way I do blues and I, I do rock and roll would never come naturally in, in the USA because it's like here there's a, a certain way of, of doing fado and people barely get 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 out of that traditional way of doing of, of doing uh, music or fado in this in this case or blues in the USA. So I think uh, sometimes and, and in in the blues and rock and roll it happened a lot of times. It came it came from Africa to the USA then back to England and all around the world back and forth and it's changing and it's alive because of that of the changes that that are occurring in, 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 in different uh, Places in the world, and nowadays I think there's there's uh, a lot of bands that are that are uh, redoing and, and 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 getting new new frontiers in the way of doing blues and rock and roll, and um, and and I like to consider that that Reagan are, are one of them, or, or me solo as legendary Tiger Man. Um, what do you think about the, the free download of music, the, the sh sharing of uh, musical files, uh, this new way of uh, well, uh, consuming music? That's not really a way of consuming music. Consuming? The, the, the good sense <laughs> of the word, yeah. I mean, of uh, yeah. enjoying music. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I think the MP3 is normally, and, uh, and, and sometimes people share share files on the on the internet and songs that are not even close to the quality of, of, of what we have recorded in, in the beginning um, I don't uh, I, uh, 
But you know, if you, if if you don't have money to buy a record and you want to listen to my music, it's okay if you if, if you download, you know. But but I don't think it's the right way to to enjoy music, and it, it's killing the music industry, and it's affecting not Madonna or not the the really big names. It's affecting the small names. It's affecting uh, uh, in 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 a very uh, aggressive <laughs> way the ability of of the bands to go to a, to a good studio and record in in good conditions. I think nowadays with with uh, electronic music and and people doing do, doing music with laptops, which uh, of course I, I I respect and it's a, a way to do. It's not it's not what what I like to do, I like I like to record acoustically with with amplifiers, with uh, with drums, whatever. And uh, and for that I need to go to a certain studio and have a certain microphone and have certain time. And um, and yeah, I need I need in a way I need people to 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 relate to my music in 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 a way that 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 that. Uh, that allows me to do that. So you know, when when when, when I like a band, I I buy their music uh, either on vinyl or on CD or an MP3 or whatever. I don't don't I don't download music uh, for free unless it's for free. So uh, in in my heart, I don't agree with it. You know, but um, if, if 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 people don't have money, um, I prefer. That they do it, that they, they don't listen. But I think it's 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 it's. Um, I, f I think music in general, not not only because of, of the downloads and all that stuff. I don't think people give give as much importance to music nowadays than 20 or 25 years ago. Even even when people went w went to gigs, it used to be something really special. Uh, when when you listen to a record, when you get got a record with something special, you you listen the record the whole way like ten ten times or something like that. So nowadays there's there's a lot of stuff go, going on and people don't don't have the same interest or, or or the same attention for for the record. So so in a way I think it's a sign of the times too and uh, hopefully. Uh, um, I, I don't think the downloading issue is the bigger issue. I think the bigger issue is that people don't 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 relate in in uh, in, in in such uh, 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 a way that 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 music may really re represent something important in their lives. I don't think that 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 happens uh, much anymore, actually. And what would you suggest to a young man who is starting now his hmm. career? I don't know, I think it, uh, there's no way of... of I, th I think the only, f uh, the only advice that I, I, I can really tell is that they do what, what they love to do, you know, and they don't uh, in, 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 in any way try to sell out or try to do something just just to get to the people or just to get money or just I think you need really to do to do the music that 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 makes you happy and that and that uh, for me doing music is something that comforts me and that and that liberates me in many ways and so I think that's that, that's the most important thing uh, to to be happy with with what you're doing and to and to be honest to your music. Which are your projects right now? What are you going to do? Right now, um, I'm going to do uh, uh, a soundtrack for uh, for uh, for a Portuguese movie, and um, and I'm starting to work to work on my solo project again, which is called The Legendary Tiger Man. Uh, in my last album, I recorded with an uh, Italian uh, artist called Asia Argento in this project called Femina. And uh, the very famous actress. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and she's also the wife of an important, well, the, the former wife of a very good Italian. 
yeah. musicians more than yeah more in, yeah, no, no. Uh, and the daughter of a uh, really oh part the, the movie that I guess <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but but it was with with a lot of uh, it's, the project is is kind of a one man band um, uh, and, and and I've done this record called Femina that was with her. Uh, Maria de Medeiros, Rita Red Shoes, uh, Peaches, Phoebe Caldeer, a lot of different uh, singers and actresses. And now I'm going, I'm going back to that project, just solo, doing, doing, doing another album that should be released next year. And in the meantime, this year, Reagan will tour Europe, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the album will be released in different countries. Uh, will you be back in Italy? I in hope so, but we, uh, we, we have no. For the moment, we have no label there, but we, we, we hope to find a label there and to be back in Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.